What's up, uh, my be lovely? <laughs> Guys, guess what happened to building today? None other than luxury love. Hey. You guys, we are gonna learn no I mean learn some things about him today. I know um you guys, there's a lot of things that I want to share with y'all or what he's doing, what he's doing on the scene, y'all. Y'all going to be very, very pleased and very inspired as well. So we're going to say grace and we're going to get it in. Okay. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food that we're about to receive. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So we're going to do thumbnail. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to pick up this lobster tail and just smile. All right. Okay. I can do it in okay. Yeah, yeah, right there. Okay, that's good. <laughs> so yeah, we can start eating. So uh -huh. So we just get into it. We're gonna like, get yeah. into it. We're um, gonna get dirty. I'm nervous. You know <laughs> now you're nervous. I'm nervous because I've been I've been I've been waiting so long and it's like, you know, uh, and then I'm here in front of all this. Okay. Yes. So I'm and, he, with this. and you have the mouth. So I made you some yeah, yeah, sauce. I don't like spicy yeah. stuff. And I got spicy on mine, y'all. Oh, that came right out. Yes. Okay. That's the king crack. Okay. So you dip it and then you get some lemon. You squeeze lemon. See, I, I don't like lemon. lemon. You don't like lemon? Mm -mm. Okay, well, I need to just do it like that then. Okay, let's dig see. it from the top, bottom. <laughs> I hope it's good for real. You like? <laughs> you like it's good for real? It's good for real. People ain't, people ain't playing. Right. It's good. Wow. They ain't lying, huh? Wow. Cause you know it is a, a big hype. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's not a hype. It's real. <laughs> It's really good. And for Thank me, you. like when I go to, and I do crab boils, I never get sauce. They really? only get real butter and garlic. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. So you you breaking my sauce virginity. <laughs> I'm breaking you in, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's like a lot. A lot I, you know what? Before mm -hmm. this, I was used to the, just eating the butter, too. Mm -hmm. The butter and the lemons and stuff. Wow, that's really good, baby. Thank you. That's amazing. I'm glad you like it. Wow. You know, one of my, um, one of my, Former clients came on. Scott Jackson, I used to dress her. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and so when Scott oh, yeah, did it, I'm, yeah. like, I'm like, Scott did it, I can right. do it. Mm. She was wonderful, too. She so loved sweet. it. She such is a, very sweet. Such a beautiful little girl. Oh, well, yeah, she's a she is. Almost a woman now, but she's oh, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, she beautiful. grew up. smart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm excited about this. Good. Oh, the cucumber? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's something different that just added to the, uh, we added to the bowl. Mm. It's like a fresh type of. That's good too. Mm hmm. The sauce may be a little hot, y'all. It's hot. Mm hmm. What? I can't believe I'm here. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm glad you are Thank here. Thank you for having me. Thank you. No problem. So, y'all, I'm going to get right into it. Luxury Law, you guys, you know, he's from, you know, you done American t Next Top Model. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, cycle 23 and 24. Yeah, two seasons. Okay, two mm -hmm. seasons. And you got, he is an amazing stylist, but you call yourself an image, a image architect, architect. Yeah. Which is brilliant. Thank you. The way you came up with that, you know, because you really do set yourself aside from everybody. I, and that's, you know, that was one of the reasons doing it because when I came into this industry, I, I really didn't know a lot. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I, I just came to LA and said, this is what I want to do and this is what I'm going to do. And I just felt like the word stylist was so general. Mm hmm. And I really wanted to offer my clients something something more than that, just picking out a dress. I wanted to help them kind of like decide who they wanted to be in fashion mm -hmm. and um, and just create like create a legacy. And it was more about doing what an architect did with a building, but I was doing it with a person. That is brilliant. And an image. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, when I read that, I was like, wow. And you said you just make a blueprint yeah. of what, you know, just out of the clothing or what they want to wear, the designs and stuff like that mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah, we kind of just make a plan on who they are or mm -hmm. who they want to be mm -hmm. and just kind of like build for I like that. that. Thank you. I really do like that Thank because so, so many times you do, you go to stylists and they really put what they want. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And not really what you really want and they think that it's best for you. And it's not, you know, right. like you have to, you have to know who the girl mm -hmm. or guy that you mm -hmm. dress in, you know, who they are mm -hmm. or, you know, and some, and sometimes they don't know who they are. They want you to help them figure True. that out, <laughs> which is fine too. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, which is fine too. Cause you know, people, especially when people are newer in the industry, trying to figure it out, and mm -hmm. and what our job is as stylish or me stylist or me a image architect is to help them figure it out. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm in the service industry. My my job is to help them be and feel the best that they could possibly mm -hmm. be. 
Wow. That's amazing. And also, too, what, uh, what really intrigued me about you, about your walk, is that you, before you started this, before you became um, famous or whatever, or doing this, mm -hmm. You were doing um, what is it called deliciously, deliciously vintage. I had a, yeah. So you had a vintage thing. So you already the thing about it is you claim things. You like you spoke things in existence. Yeah, you really you really did your research. Yes. I appreciate that. Because I'm like I was telling my friend who like helped me you know who worked me and helped me you know communicate with you guys. I'm like she ain't gonna know who I am. <laughs> Which is oh, fine because I still want that uh -huh. sauce. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, she really got to know who I am because I'm going right. to eat that sauce. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I did my research and then found out he was on the south side of Chicago, y'all. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, yeah. He grew up right in my neck of the woods. Yeah. So yeah. we grew up around the same area at the same yeah. time. Yeah. 100%. So that's what's up. And for you to, you know, come out because there's not I'm many of us that make it, you know. I know. And it's just, and that's one of my, that's one of my platforms is, helping to normalize success in mm -hmm. our community. Because you know, if you think about it, when you go back and you see people that you grow with, they be like, oh, we so happy one of us made it. And it was mm -hmm. like, we gotta change that mindset. Like right. we gotta make being successful a norm for our people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I don't wanna be the only one that made it. I don't right. wanna be put on a pedestal. Like I want, I wanna come home and we all make it. We all got something going on. Exactly. We all live in, you know, in abundance. So. Mm -hmm. It's hard to um. It's just that's just hard, and it's just like we got we have to figure that out, you mm -hmm. know. Exactly. And I don't I don't have all the answers to that, but I just know that we need to figure it out. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, absolutely. Especially from Chicago, you know our town is, and our town is tough. Oh, especially yeah. like hoods that we grew up in. It's just South it's tough. Oh yes, it's very tough. much so. And it, and it, you know, as the time goes, it gets worse and worse. So, mm -hmm. oh yeah. Mm. So how my thing is, I want to know the history behind. How did you get your first break? What made you, you know, you went from being, you know, doing these uh, shops, these mm -hmm. vintage shops, mm -hmm. and so how did you get your name known, you know? Well, to be honest with you, like, and I was doing a vintage shop, and I also was a bartender. I used to bartend mm. at a lot of clubs downtown. Okay. And uh, I just always been, like, I always had a hustler spirit, mm -hmm. you know, and my mother was kind of, like, a hustler, and, you know, it was just, like, I grew up. And she told me when I was very young, like, if you don't work, you don't eat. You know what I mean? And when some, when, when you eight or nine years old, somebody tell her, you got to like, you like, oh, I got to figure it out. Mm -hmm. So I always had that kind of mentality. Um, but then, you know, it was the vintage store in the bartender. And my first real client, real paying client was Kay Michelle. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kay Michelle okay. gave me, gave me a big opportunity. I did like three or, three or four videos of her first album. Mm -hmm. And her album packaging and a lot of performances and yeah, I'm very grateful to Kay. I learned a lot. I learned a lot from Kay, and um, and then I started just moving around and and working in you know Atlanta and then L.A. New York and mm -hmm. yeah, I dressed a, I've dressed a lot of people in my in my few years I've been doing this. So my thing is, how did you? So yo, you grew my word so mouth then. Thank you. <laughs> word mouth for Instagram. Oh Social really? Media. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Wow, because you did Ariana Grande, mm -hmm. so, uh, um, Celine Dion. Celine Dion, Ariana Grande, um, Demi Lovato, um, Zendaya. Wow. It's my, it's people who know me the most for, for Zendaya. Mm -hmm. And but I, but I dressed Monica and Brandy and Tamar Braxton and it's 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 wow. a, it's been a lot of people and I'm and I've taken something away from all those women. Mm -hmm. You know, all those women have helped me grow into who I am now. Every lesson I've learned a lesson from every single one of them. Wow. That I that I use in my career. Yeah. And so you you still you like we were talking you you travel a lot. Mm hmm So you go around the world. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amazing. How does that feel? Like you know, the thing about it is that it just I'm so blessed that I get to show other people that everything and anything is possible. Mm hmm that is that that's what moves me that's what makes me able to take all the flights and you know and, and to mm -hmm. beat my body down because i know if somebody watching me that's where i'm from who this lifestyle didn't seem like it was ever possible for them until they saw me do it mm -hmm. so it's just like that's that's why i keep going because some mm -hmm. days i don't want to get out the bed i know, you know? that's why you, you want to relax and but not you, do anything yeah but, but when you think about it that way you're like mm -hmm. I, oh, I, it, it's just not about me anymore you know mm-hmm I gotta try to. Hey. <laughs> yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I'm not a big boiled egg person, but really, it's mm -hmm. it's good. But a lot of people don't like they don't like the yolk, but I love the yolk. See, I like the yolk. I really like the white. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh shoot! I didn't talk about that enough. But ain't no really no pretty way to eat this, right? Mm mm. Okay. Can't be cute with no seafood. Boy. <laughs> Here we go. Here we mm -hmm. go. Gotta get all that. Yes, he knew how to eat it too. Cause I watch you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> wow. It's, it's different, good. but it's good. It is good. Mm -hmm. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Mm hmm. Mm. I should get us some. I don't even know what. We don't have any paper towel. I think. Oh, thank you. Yep. She get that. Let me see if it's running all over my face like Trina. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trina was going in. Uh huh. She's going in. A lot of people do. She a Miami girl though, so she mm -hmm. already know. She grew up eating this. Mm hmm. See, we didn't. I feel like. Did you? Did you? Did you eat this type of food young, or you ate when you were older? Oh, when I was older. Yeah. This stuff is expensive. Right. It's expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We ain't had this. Right. Mm hmm. Very. Yeah. It was. I've been eating it for a few years too. So. If you wouldn't have never been what you have became, you know, as far as this, um, the stylist, mm -hmm. what would you have wanted to be? Like if you would have went to college or whatever. I did go to college. Mm -hmm. I, I went to college and I have a, um, I have a business degree. Okay. But I, but I only did that because I had a cousin and she went and got a master's in business and you know, she was, you know, back on the day when you thought getting a job that pay a hundred thousand dollars was like mm -hmm. the end all be all right like, right right you know, i make a hundred that she make a hundred thousand dollars and but that but that was never for me like mm -hmm. you know and i had one job and i was miserable mm. i was absolutely miserable so there was nothing that i really wanted to be i just knew that i wanted to be successful and i had to figure out how mm -hmm. i was gonna make that happen and I, I didn't have any goals like that okay mm -hmm. so what was your first uh when you had your first big break, like you was like, "Wow, this is real." Was it was it American t Next Top Model or? Um, I think my first big break was um, maybe dressing. I mean, I had like ups. Not mm -hmm. I, I've been you know consistently on the rise, but I think when the world really started paying attention to me is when I started dressing saloon. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. Okay. That's kind of like when the world. And then it be, and then everybody then try to hit you up and like okay. Mhm. Mm yeah, it's been it's been a real a real blossom. So how was you when you um when you did American? It's gonna be all MIT. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. You know these veneers suck this um suck corn right up. <laughs> mhm. Mm mm oh yeah, they do. And it's annoying too when mm -hmm. it's in between your teeth. Mhm. Mm That's good. That's but. Like that. I was gonna ask you because I know when you work in America, the next top model, uh -huh. you know that was the, the that was the show. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what was your your first time, your first day? Can you remember the feeling that you had? So the first the first season, it was hosted by Rita Ora, uh -huh. which I love. I love Rita, um, and that was it was like we part of this, but I had never met Tyra yet. And so when Tyra came on set, then it, it kind of felt real. Mm -hmm. And then the, the second season I did, Tyra was back. And that was just like, because we grew up on that show. Mm -hmm. Like we used to, you know, yes. run home. Like we couldn't miss uh -huh. America's Next Time Model. Mm -hmm. Especially because it gave, it gave us our first kind of glim, glim, glimpse mm -hmm. into like high fashion and, and the fashion world. So like for me, like one day we were doing a photo shoot and I was standing next to the photo shoot for like, you know, the cast picture or whatever. And I, I literally just started crying because it was just uh -huh. like... I had never dreamt that, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I had never dreamt like, oh, I want to be on America's Next Time Model, and then it just kind of like came. Right. And and again, I, and I'm probably gonna say this a few times, like it just lets you know that any and everything is possible. You know, like I'm standing next to this woman who I watch year after year after year after year, and now like she knows my name, and you know she's complimenting me, and I'm take I'm a photo shoot with her. That picture's gonna last forever, mm -hmm. you know. So yeah. It, it was beautiful. Wow. And it was fun. And um, I got to, you know, see how that show was made. And she created that show, you know. Mm -hmm. So and she was great. And Tyra's amazing and beautiful. I'm like, sure she, yeah. I'm sure One of she the is. most stunning women I've ever. Like, she don't even look real. She's so pretty. Wow. That's, wow. And I know because some people look different. They look different than they do on mm -hmm. 
television. When you see them in person, it, you know they even be you know even more better. Yeah, she's looking. she was she's <laughs> she's like I couldn't believe. It. I just kept looking at her like you, mm. you fine, fine. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, because how long you been doing this? Um, I've been playing around with it. Um, since around like um, 2011 or 12. But I've been living in mm -hmm. LA, actually working at this being my only source of income mm -hmm. um, since 2014. Wow. So I, it hasn't been that long. Sure hasn't, yeah. Because mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, wow. And so it's going, it's going pretty good for you. It's going say. pretty good okay. for me. <laughs> okay. We ain't, we ain't, you know, <laughs> we, ain't got, we, ain't, we ain't hurting for nothing. That's good. <laughs> it's really yeah, good. It's a blessing. It really is a blessing. Oh, yeah. So what are some of the things that you probably will get to up and coming, you know, people that want to be in the fashion and, mm -hmm. you know, do their own thing? Is it, is it, well, first of all, let me ask you, is this hard work? It's very hard work. It's extremely hard work. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what, that's what I would love for people to understand and, and learn about it. It's like people just think, you know, it's a, you're picking out a pretty dress, mm -hmm. you post it on Instagram and um, that's it, but that's not it. You know, and when you get to a certain level, I'm dressing some of the most powerful, you know, mm -hmm. the, some of the biggest people in the world. And your your schedule and your life becomes a reflection of theirs. So it's like you're busy, you know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. you know, we had six, six clients doing the same thing. So imagine if they're busy, I'm six times more busy than them because I'm doing, right. you know, other people. Wow. And you just gotta for the young people. You just gotta know that like, why you want to do this? Like, mm -hmm. why do you want to be in this? Why do you because you think it's glamorous or you really want to sustain a business? Right. You know, like people think people just see you and they like see you here eating eating a seafood board, but it's like they don't understand this work. is a yeah. business. Exactly. You got a lot of work. You got yeah. a lot of decision making. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of pressures to make the right decision. Mm -hmm. So it's it's you know, yeah. You gotta know why you really want to be in it. Right. So when you're doing it, when you, cause you know, cause you, like on the outside looking in, cause I don't know nothing about fa um, fashion a lot, mm -hmm. but when I see fashion, you'll think, so how do you get your clothes? How do you know what clothes to pick? Do it take you a while? It's the process. Mm -hmm. Do it take six weeks for you to learn that person, you know, know that person's look mm -hmm. to build it? Well, it's a lot of research of the person when I, when I get a new client okay. and then you, um, and then it's just a lot of it, so really what it is is my interpretation of who I think they are. Oh, okay. You know. Okay. Um, along with them telling me what they want, because some people know exactly what they want, and so you get them exactly what they want, and okay. you mix in a little bit of you. But some people don't know what they want, and so it's up to you to kind of like help them figure that out. Right. But it's a long process. So, say I'm doing um, an award show. Mm -hmm. So the first part is to find. 20 dresses that I think will work and when you're trying to find those dresses you have to email 20 designers or 20 PR agencies okay and then you have to go back then it's like a lot of go back and forth they like the dress might not be available it's at a photo shoot in Paris and you like so you're trying to get convince them to get wow. it from Paris and send it to you uh -huh. and then you get it and then sometimes stuff get lost in shipping and then you get it and it might not be as beautiful as you thought it was in the pic because you're only seeing pictures really unless wow. sometimes we a lot of times we go to the runway show so we actually see it but um wow, then yeah. you get the dress and then you gotta <laughs> fit the dress you gotta go through all those dresses with your client you find out the what the best dress is and then you gotta alter the dress and you gotta get the dress back and then you gotta dress them in the dress so wow. it's a process like it's not like it's it could take oh it could take a week and a half but well, sometimes we only have two days to do it so How just imagine in two days you got no other choice See, and you see, this is the stuff. This is what I'm saying. You you don't know the pressures of people, what people have to go through. We just see all the glamour so and dope. glitz and go. Like, you just mm -hmm. standing there like, oh, yeah, we're going to pick this outfit. And you see them try it on the album. But you don't know the behind the scenes. Yeah. Wow. Because I would have never thought all that. It's tough. It's wow. It's a really tough job. It's a really tough job. Because I can only imagine in two days, and you have two days to get somebody ready for the Grammys or anything, mm -hmm. you know? Sometimes you'll get a last minute. You Sometimes they're like, oh, we're not going. And then you two days before, they're like, oh, we're going now. So it's like you start the work and then you stop. And now you got to jump back on it. Jeez. And be all the while, be professional with mm -hmm. it. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. 
and maintain your relationships mm -hmm. and that's something so what would you say is the most um difficult thing about running a business like this um well i have you know i have and i don't want to say like sound like that but i have a real business like i have employees and mm -hmm. You want to know what the real, the real hard part about the business is? But the taxes. Oh, <laughs> I think that's what any business is. That's right. me too over here. <laughs> exactly. And see, people don't think about that. Right. They don't think about that. And they uh, a beast too. Yeah. Man. Yeah. And you got to pay them because some people want their money. They want their money. And if you don't get them their money, they're going to take their money. They're going to take their money. They're right. And now they even gonna take what they they gonna take it all. They all oh. <laughs> garnish <laughs> everything. See, I have to learn that the hard way, though. Mm -hmm. I have to learn that the hard way. Yeah. Yeah. So just being, just running a business like just because I'm in fashion, you know, I run my business just like I like somebody in corporate with one ass. Right. Yeah. And I think that's you know, that's hard. Mm-hmm. It's hard. Oh, wow. So would you have to say you have to got some pretty pretty good employees? You mm -hmm. know some. Yeah. That's good. They change out a lot, you know, fashion. How do you pick them, though? How do you know? Like, okay, they got an eye for fashion. Um, you know, the, the, the thing about the aesthetic, that could be learned. Like, mm -hmm. well, you, some people just have good taste, right? Mm -hmm. I think, you know, that's important. But they have to be able to, to dress, my, to pull stuff and find stuff like it's me. You know what I mean? Because my clients are paying. Uh-huh. They pay for my aesthetic, you know. Mhm. Mm um, but yeah, you know, you get recommendations from people like, well, you know, I'm at a point right now like people email me and be like, I would love to work for you. And, you know, we try it out. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Oh wow. This is so good, B. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Mm -mm. But yeah, it's um, all different types of ways. You know, you hope that they work out because I have to be able to trust them. Oh, yeah. They're so close, you mm -hmm. know. Now, do you have people, they, do you have them traveling with you too? Or are you mm -hmm. just, really? I have people, so I have, right now I have two full-time employees in, um, in L.A. Mm -hmm. And then I have people what I call like freelancers mm -hmm. that work with, work with me. And so I have a couple of those in New York. Okay. Um, I have one in Paris. Mm. And a couple in London. Okay. So it's a global business. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine with the time different stuff like that. Wow. I don't sleep a lot. Yeah. Depending on what. You know. Now how do you? That's what. Well, how do you balance yourself? You know, as far as your work and your social life. I'm not. I don't have you, a balance. To be honest, I mean, it's something I'm praying for. I'm praying for balance. You know, I'm praying for, you know, being able to like make sure that I'm. You know, always staying healthy, and that don't always happen. You know, I work myself because I just feel like I have such an opportunity um, to do something great, mm -hmm. and again, to be an inspiration to other people. That I always don't take care of myself. Like I, I haven't been on a date. You know what I mean? Like everyone, like when you gonna, you know, when you gonna get in a mm -hmm. relationship? I'm like, I don't know. You just on autopilot. You yeah. keep going, 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 you keep going, going, going. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's wow. Exactly what it is. But it'll come, you know, I'm praying for it. You know, we, we know God answers prayers, mm -hmm. right? So, mm -hmm. hopefully the balance will come sooner or later. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> But I'm happy. Like, I'm not unhappy, you know. That's good. Just because you love what you do. I love what I do, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love and that's my important. Life. Yeah. That's important. So, what are some of the goals that you got going that you're going to have, you got set for 2020? Um, well... Balance. <laughs> Balance. Okay. <laughs> Balance, huh? That's a big goal, yeah. That's a good one. You know, eventually I want to have my own line, mm -hmm. you know, my own brand, mm -hmm. and, and do that. I got a little taste of, you know, mm -hmm. being a designer, working with Zendaya mm -hmm. on her Tommy Hilfiger collection. So that kind of like opened me up to nice. wanting to do more of that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. And you have to. I can't believe I'm sitting here talking and eating like this. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> it is so real and oh, so good. Wow. So, do you have to sketch your stuff out? You gotta sketch that. I don't know how to sketch. You don't? Mm -mm. I don't know how to sketch. So, I would be like probably have somebody to sketch and and just be more of a crib director. Like, mm -hmm. I haven't tried a sausage. Yet. I'm gonna try a sausage. Mm -hmm. Um, 
you know, but I don't I don't know how to sketch. But you know, that ain't that ain't nothing that can be learned. You know? Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. So you won't balance this year, so I won't balance this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's gonna take a little bit of yeah. mastering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, really trying to deny things and like, okay, I'm gonna take this time out to do this mm -hmm. or whatever. Wow. So what do you do for fun? Sleep. Sleep. I'm that, not that like you a know. party, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I don't go out So when you, when you had that chill time, you like, man, I'm staying at home, I'm chilling. Staying at home. Staying at home. That's chilling. how it is when you work hard. Yeah. That's, that's me too. I'm like, I don't even want to do nothing. I'm just like, I just want to be at home. That's my relaxation. That's mm -hmm. why I'm my happy place. Watching something stupid on oh, TV. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or some oldies, some old yeah. school movies or something. Yeah. And mm -hmm. just lay on the couch or lay in the bed and mm -hmm. just. And don't do nothing. And don't do nothing. Mm -hmm. It's the best. Mm -hmm. It's the absolute best. Absolutely. Wow. It's just amazing how far you have come. You too. We from the same place. I know we are. I'm just like, man. We, we, I'm proud of you. Thank you. Yeah, you you it too. Out. You know what? And to, and to be the age that we are, I'm not, I mean, I don't know if you want to scold your age, but the age that we are, and you know, it just lets you know that life can still. <laughs> You don't have an age, mm -hmm. really? <laughs> we like our age is how how we look. Okay. Like, however old we look. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a unicorn. We don't have mm. ages. But no, yeah, yeah. But like, you know, we people here like if you're not from Chicago, like you think you understand it, but you don't understand mm -hmm. it. You know what I mean? Like the the and I'm we from close to the same area, so I know. I can assume how you grew up. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because it's very similar to the way I grew up, oh, and yeah. it's just like. For us, you are a business owner, like, and you and I'm a business owner, and we sitting here, you know, supporting mm -hmm. each other mm -hmm. and, and elevating each other. Oh yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Mm hmm Very much so. Very much so. But my thing is, I know that you're gonna do great things. Have you ever thought about writing a book? Oh yeah, I am. Um, that's another thing. I do have a couple offers for for some books. Okay. Um, I just don't know if I'm ready to. Um, to write my life story yet. Okay. I think I got a couple more things to do mm -hmm. that that need to be in there, you know. Okay. And maybe finding love is one of them. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, hey. I'm, <laughs> I'm single. He's single and ready to mingle, y'all. Yeah, he's got, got a lot of followers. A lot maybe, of them. Maybe somebody will watch this video and want to eat a, do a seafood bowl. Oh, with yeah. <laughs> y'all know I'm going to leave all his links down in the description box below so y'all can eat them up. Yeah. So, yeah, just, you know. That being part of it. Mm. Yeah. But that's good. So, would it would a book be about, you know, how to run a business? How yeah, to, I would love you know? to do that. I would love okay. to, to, even if it's, you know, to, I'm, I'm so transparent. Like, people can literally meet me in the street and I'll stop and answer questions. You know I what I mean? Tell, like, yeah. I want to, I want to give everything I mm -hmm. got. You know what I mean? Because I really want people who look like us to be able to live their life in abundance mm -hmm. because like I like you know I'm a shopper like I like clothes and design and stuff and all that but at the end of the day it was for me it's always just the ability to I'm sure you could uh, you know contest to this it's the ability to be able to do what you want to do mm -hmm. and not have to worry about it. you know if you want to go out and you know buy a car or whatever you don't have to come back like oh shit I have not right, done that like, right, or right. you know or like mm -hmm. oh yeah be nervous about it I want I want us to understand that we can live in abundance and not check to check and be able to exactly. travel and see mm -hmm. stuff and have nice things mm -hmm. no matter whatever a nice thing is to mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. but just to have it you know what i mean mm -hmm. so that's that's all i pray about and all i talk about because i know if, if if i'm always vocal about it it'll click for somebody and then they know and they know they could do it too mm -hmm. you know it's, it, I'm really, I feel like really I'm in a place where my career is not about me anymore because I pretty much have done everything I wanted to do mm -hmm. uh, for the most part. I, I just want to constantly let other people who, who look like us know they can do it. You could, Whatever yeah. it is, whatever your dream is, you can do it if you really believe and work hard, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, absolutely. So I agree. I 100% agree. Because look, just think about it, like you selling out thousands and thousands mm -hmm. of units of something that you that you came up mm -hmm. with that you invented mm -hmm. on your own you know right. what i mean like mm -hmm. that's a it's, it's possible yes it's possible yeah, very much possible reachable y'all reachable yeah but you know what i appreciate you being on the show 
And I, I, I appreciate you being so humble. Oh, yeah. You are very, very humble, Thank and I appreciate you. that. Okay. Well, I ain't got no other choice. <laughs> <laughs> you will be surprised, y'all. But anyways, y'all, on that note, I'm going to leave all his links down in the description box below. And I want you guys to go check him out. He's good people. You guys will really, really, you know, really, really like the stuff that he's doing. I'm, I'm, I just appreciate that you breaking some ceilings for yes, us, you yes. know. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I was just saying, go check him out. And, I, you know, I just appreciate him. And, and you guys know that, you know, he's very successful. And you guys can learn a lot from him. So, on that note, um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Anyone and everyone, let me know what your girl is doing this channel. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I love you guys so, so, so uh, much. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed. I want to give you a Peace hug. out. Peace, love, and hair grease. Mm -hmm. Oh. What's up? Share and subscribe. Beat love, beat love, beat love three times. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe.